You want some cereal? I feel so good today, I'm gonna choose from the low fiber end of the shelf. Hello, honey puffs. Son of a bitch! Honey's up. You sick, geeky bastards! How did she know it was us? I may have left a suggested organizational schematic for her bedroom closet. God, this is gonna be bad. Goodbye, honey puffs. Hello, big brand. You came into my apartment last night while I was sleeping? Yes, but only to clean. Really more to organize. You're not actually dirty, per se. Give me back my key. I'm very, very sorry. Do you understand how creepy this is? Oh, yes, we discussed it at length last night. In my apartment, while I was sleeping. And snoring. And that's probably just a sinus infection. But it could be sleep apnea. You might want to see an otolaryngologist. <laughs> the throat doctor. And what kind of doctor removes shoes from asses? Depending on the depth, that's either a <laughs> proctologist or a general surgeon. Oh. God! Okay, look, no, Penny, I think what you're feeling is perfectly valid. And maybe a little bit later today when you're feeling a little less, for lack of a better word, violated, maybe we could talk about this some more. Stay away from me. Sure, that's another way to go. D D Penny, Penny, D hold on. Just to clarify, because there will be a discussion when you leave. <laughs> Is your objection solely to our presence in the apartment while you were sleeping, or do you also object to the imposition of a new organizational paradigm? <laughs> well, that was a little non-responsive. You were going to march yourself over there right now and apologize. <laughs> Did that wasn't sarcasm? No! Woo! Boy, you are all over the place this morning. I have a master's and two PhDs. I should not have to do this. What? I am truly sorry for what happened last night. I take full responsibility. And I hope that it won't color your opinion of Leonard, who is not only a wonderful guy, but also, I hear, a gentle and thorough lover. <laughs> I did what I could.